My name is Craig Duncan. Uh, I have a passive house consulting and architecture firm, Duncan Architect. Uh, this is a, one of my passive house consulting projects in historic districts, uh, classic brownstone in Fort Greene, Brooklyn, which we're doing to the passive house standard. Uh, working with EcoStruct, who's the general contractor, we have a historic brownstone facade that we are preserving and doing interior insulation, four to six inches of continuous cellulose uh, with insulation as well between the studs. The cellar is outside of the thermal envelope, so we have the plywood subfloor with the joints taped as our air barrier. So we have a continuous uh, air tightness layer from the plywood subfloor to the intello at the front and the rear, the plaster on the party walls, and the intello in the ceiling. One of the challenges in a Brooklyn brownstone, especially in a historic district, is matching the existing windows, uh, which of course were big double-hung windows. Uh, the problem with double-hung windows is that it's basically impossible to get the air tightness at the meeting rail where the upper and lower sash meet. Uh, so what we've done is uh, we installed a simulated double-hung window, and it looks exactly like uh, the original window from the outside. On the inside, we have the fixed upper light, and then the lower light is a, is a tilt and turn. So we can just tilt it open and get uh, fresh air ventilation. And then it also opens up 90 degrees so that you can clean the windows. The air barrier is continuous with the rear wall here. Again, it's the Intello. Uh, we use those two buys uh, to create a service cavity so that we can run our electric and keep the air barrier protected. We paid attention to the interior framing as well. Uh, so our, our partitions are built so, th so that they don't penetrate the air barrier. We built out a return at the, uh, at the front and the rear walls, going back about four feet, uh, sort of filling that with cellulose insulation. And that will help prevent the thermal bridging at the party walls. It's not really necessarily required, but the contractors wanted to tape over the staples. We got great uh, preliminary air tightness numbers, so it obviously worked. All right, so this is the rough opening for the garden floor door. Uh, we've got our fairly typical assembly with the Intello for the air tightness, Exto Seal tape uh, for the water tightness, adhering to the brownstone and the Intello. At the sill, what we did was pretty interesting, is uh, we used a high density compact foam covered by the Exto Seal waterproofing which just gets lapped up, up on the sides. Gives you a nice continuous uh, water barrier. Gives you enough density that you can screw into it and it also eliminates the thermal bridging at the sill, which is a big issue for retrofits especially. The door frame on the exterior is over insulated uh, by the EFIS, a two inch EFIS return at the jams in the head. We're using uh, double-sided tape from 475 that connects from the outside of the frame to the interior to our framing here, which is then taped into uh, our continuous air barrier with the insulation. The party wall, our main air tightness, a lime mortar and uh, plaster. We're metal studs, uh, mineral wool insulation against the party wall. Uh, it's primarily for acoustics. The connection between the Intello air barrier at the ceiling and the, the plaster at the wall, uh, we have the Contiga cock, uh, the green cock, and uh, the Tescon Vanna tape. So at the top of the stairs, we have a uh, regular skylight and also a New York City compliant exit hatch. Both are triple glazed from Lamalux. Really happy with that. Has a, an integrated um, insulated curb. Uh, so it's really easy to install, um, eliminate your thermal bridging, be able to, to flash right up, right up against the, the insulated curb. This is the existing skylight with your typical uh, wire glass, metal frame, really no concern for air tightness. Uh, you can see the gaps here. It's also not that great for water tightness either. Single layer of glazing uh, doesn't give you much in the way of insulation, so it's uh, it can be a problem with condensation on the inside when the metal gets cold, uh, which is why we're using the high performance triple glazed skylights now. Through the preliminary blower door test, uh, once we had all the Intello up, 
very happy to get uh, 0.23 air changes per hour on the first try, which was uh, <laughs> very exciting uh, to not have to redo anything in order to, uh, to meet our air tightness numbers. Planning in advance and using the right materials helped a lot.